This man successfully predicted volcano eruption. Seven, six, five, four. <laughs> Way too jovial about this. He is hoping. I hope. <laughs> the cheering. The cheering. My god. Oh my god, that's terrifying. He's not allowed to count backwards anymore. <laughs> he is too powerful. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Calvis. My name is Lumo. With me today is Zen. I really from what you just said. And today we're looking at some things that are just amazing. These are things from around the internet that just are awesome. They're beautiful. They're cool. They're fun. They're unique. They are impressive. They are many words, and we're going to use all of them today. That's a promise. And if we don't, you're entitled to compensation. Guy freehands embellishments on door panel. Yo, I, as an artist, I respect the heck out of that level of like symmetry and smoothness in brush strokes. That is incredible. Having the confidence and the skill to just be able to pull that off, because you know that he probably has to do like a bunch of those each day. Absolutely. There is an old trick that I uh, remember from when I was learning how to paint that was just like use your shoulder to get like smoother lines and nicer strokes. And you can see that this dude's wrist is actually not moving as much as you would expect on any of the larger details. It's entirely the upper body. Yeah, you just lock in the arm so you can move everything around to Hell get yeah. more stability. Grain of salt under a microscope. Yo, Minecraft IRL, <laughs> not clickbait gone wrong i didn't realize we were going into the quantum realm where's ant-man in thanos he's saving the world <laughs> when he's done thanos's ass is gonna be a bit salty <laughs> allow me to transform myself before your eyes just a little fella just a little guy look at him swim he's going for a little swim oh oh something's coming out What's, I'm so I'm waiting for him to like invert. Whoa, sir, going blanky mode. God, just unfurled. Where was he keeping that? That is actually like I love that he's just become a bird of the sea. Much like how you can become a bird of the sea by subscribing to Calibus. That's right, we're bird wizards. We can make you a bird of any variety. So subscribe, stick around, and maybe we'll turn you into a bird next. Ha! Another satisfied customer, Snakehead. Oh, is this like a table saw or like what? What is this? A table saw and they're uh, cutting the phone in half. <laughs> OK, but why? Because why they can, though? Cam, because they can. No, I don't. I don't get why. Uh, because they can still use it. That's why. What? They can just still use it. I mean, why not? It's just it's just a fuse to give a flip phone. I mean, I th no, that's not how flip phones work. That's not it how is. flip phones work. Yeah, it is. It's fine. The top comment just gets me. As always, same explanation as every video here. It's in reverse. <laughs> no. <laughs> what does that mean? That doesn't make sense. Over 14 pounds of steel, 10 inches on a side, and all it took was four bandsaws cut to transport it in alternate dimension. That's so cool. I love this optical illusion so much. Unfortunately, due to the nature of human perspective, it does kind of get ruined, but in a good yeah. way. It, okay, when I was building this list, uh, I was like, oh, how? and then I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I know how this works. Yeah, <laughs> Which, they, they literally say it. Uh, if, <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize that it was in the title. I'm like, okay, God damn it. If you if you go to the next post, it shows you how it's done. Yeah, yeah, that's that makes sense. That is the exact thing. I love I love how apparently people were saying it was photoshopped. That's everyone's response when they don't understand. That's true. Man, I miss welding. Why be forklift certified when you can be TIG welding certified? It's the hip new thing. Forklifts are out. Now women are all into welders. Waiting for someone to combine the two. Oh God. Forklift welding. <laughs> Find the curved line. I bet you can't. I'm so full of hatred for this image. Uh, why? Because it looks like a typical American city? Now, first of all, only New York, thank you. Only New York. And we don't go to New York. No one lives in New York. It's just rats now. Uh, Lainey would like to have a word with you. Ah, uh, well, that's her fault for living in New York, too. The squeak will. Have you? No, I, I gotta ask. Have you ever have you ever seen how, what Boston's layout is? No, I've not looked at Boston. That, OK, well, 
it, they tried to keep it squares. They tried. Well, no, this is this is the new city. Uh, if you're coming in from New Hampshire down 93, there is where is it? There is a section that is like nothing but cow paths. <laughs> And like it, it goes into the city proper and it's it, it's like spindly like this park is. Boston is not squares for the most part. It is. Oh, wow. I, I just noticed where the airport in Boston is. That's just a little island. Yeah, there's a couple of straight connecting lines, but you can kind of like all of the roads are just like everywhere because it was it's all cow paths, basically. Do you, do you want to do you want to see something? Go uh, look in Glasgow. I can't wait to find out. It's just like a spiral. There you go. Look at all this. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's that feels like Boston to me. That, that that's two main motorways just going on different sides of it. Uh, like zoom in. Oh this, boy. A lot of a lot of this is one way streets, by the way, in a city. And so, like, if you go, if you take the wrong turn, you are trapped. You have to follow that route. Eglinton. <laughs> Hold on, I have I have to see Lundon now. Now that we're right over here. at the bottom. Where it belongs. This is it's like a nightmare. Yeah. Oh, look, the den of the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> All right. OK, let's go. <laughs> Hold on. Now, now we're, we're just we're on a trip. I want to see what Paris looks like. Ew, a traffic circle. A jumping spider climbs on a lady's leg. So she sicks it on a fly. Now, as someone that is highly arachnophobic and does not like spiders, I don't know how I feel about this one. I, I don't know, look I at the like, little fella. I feel like enemy of the enemy is my friend on this one. Look at his little butt twitch and getting the pressure ready to fly away. Yeah, but like, look at that. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I don't no, know. I, I hate spiders too. I'm not afraid of them. I just don't it, like them. But it, I hate it's, flies it's, it's, more. Like what I don't like is like, look at this little kind of mandible. Going, <laughs> but like, look at that thing just crawl up and it's just cresting. Like that's horrifying from the perspective of this of the fly. And then you Damn, that was a one frame wave dash. <laughs> Drone show at the Dragon Boat Festival in Shenzhen, China. You know, I actually saw this on uh, Twitter today yeah, with the comment. Imagine it... doing this above an uncontacted track. <laughs> I've seen a lot of those of just like drone shows, like with faces above like uncontacted tribes. <laughs> but I'm actually, I grew up like one of some of like my core memories as a child uh, is like some of the fireworks shows as a child, like a bonfire in my small village. Kind of, I'm starting to believe that we should stop fireworks shows and replace them with drone shows like this for a multitude yeah. of reasons. But at the same time, I do kind of appreciate feeling my chest cavity rupture every time a firework oh. goes off. Oh, no, absolutely. Don't get me wrong. I still love fireworks. It's just there's a lot of reasons to not. But like, it's still such an enjoyable thing. Like, ju like just the smell of fireworks is just such a memory for me. Oh, dude, same. The way these bubbles flow out from the pot lid. Oh, just in a straight line. They are forming. Oh, my God. They're stacking like Orbeez. <gasps> oh my god, I need to play Peggle. <laughs> the Peggle <laughs> fandom is dying. <laughs> like this video if you are a fan of pegging. <laughs> Join us in the cause. We need to revive Peggle. Red Panda deserves a treat. You put this in just for yourself. I did, but it was also that I was like, OK, over the last five days, I've had so many people DM me this freaking video. So I'm just like, I'm, I'm just going to use it. It's, it's in here now. Look at the, little guy. <laughs> the public acknowledgement that I've seen this. <laughs> Do not send again. <laughs> CNC milling this circuit board. That's neat. It's That's so, so satisfying. Neat. Like, I, so satisfying. Man, I, I used to love programming for milling machines. It was a lot of fun to see it all come together. Man, I've got a lot of weird, disparate skills, I just realized. <laughs> you only just? <laughs> like, none of them relate to what I do now, but it's like, I miss TIG welding and working on machine and pots and also taking care of animals and also driving for criminals. And <laughs> I I would absolutely love if there was like a maker shop near me somewhere because I've, ne I've never seen one and I'd love to just go and just start learning things. I would absolutely I, love it. I mean, hey, if you ever swing by, there's a makerspace nearby. Ooh. Crystal clear glacier stream in Alaska. Why would you show us this video? Nestle is on their way right now. <laughs> Don't worry, they have to fight off all five Alaskans. They'll probably lose. <laughs> 
like one guy in a suit and briefcase getting chased down. <laughs> Handcrafted interlocking rings from a single piece of wood. Ooh. Ooh, dremeling. This, this is something I don't understand how people figured out. Like, carving a way to have two separate things. Look at that! Yeah, I mean, I feel like the, the theory makes a lot of sense, you know? Because, like, cool, you, you just carve under one to free it, and then it's, like, just kind of clean it up a little bit. So what do you do with it now? <laughs> uh, you tell people that you can take them apart and laugh. This graffiti piece by Vile is so good. That's but, like, insane. Oh, it took me a while to realize, hold on, they had to do hyper-realistic foliage as well, and that with that as long with the actual art piece is just phenomenal. I hope the people don't counter tag this one. Like, I feel like this is one of those graffiti pieces that just needs to stay as it is. It just needs to exist. I, I if I had a building, I would hire this dude to paint on it. Bubble sorcery. Oh, uh, ball go in. Oh, and <gasps> then the, the displaced water pushes it back out so it doesn't pop. That's and nifty. now th that is bubble vol. <sighs> Why'd you say it? And that's all the time we have here today on Cowboys. Let us know which post was your favorite. I personally liked the one that we had to put on Patreon. That's not even a plug. It's sh we would get copyright claimed if we showed it here. <laughs> <laughs> it has music, and so we ac we actually can't. <laughs> if you want to see some more from us, another video will be popping up on your screen in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Luma. With me has been Zen. And we hope to see you in the very next Cowboys video. Have a great rest of your day.